Hello, Professor Plum. Uh, it is called on Mustard, and um, I'm shooting the Sunday vlog. Um, I'm doing it a bit earlier today, just because I have the time now, and I've just had a really deep conversation with a close friend of mine, and there's some things that I just want to vent about and get it out there. So, um, welcome to the Sunday vlog, I guess. Um, it is recently that I started thinking about the bigger picture for me and for the situation that I'm in right now. It's it's strange because I'm turning 18 soon and for most people this doesn't seem like a big deal it just kind of seems like they're just granted the ability to go clubbing and get drunk more often but it's there's such a heavy side to it that people rarely notice you are an adult in the eyes of everyone in society at this point you can have you can have a family you can you can get arrested for doing hard, for you can arrest it and do a hard time for stuff. Now they won't take you to your parents anymore. It's strange, but at a time where so much changes, don't you think that the person who's turning eighteen should change? It's what's scaring me is that I don't feel any different. I don't, I don't notice anything changing inside of me and. It's weird because I think I should, shouldn't I? Is it a bit? Is it a big deal? Is it not? It's crazy. Um, natives in Australia had this process where, when they become of age, they have to do this ritual, which then grants them being a man. It's a rites of passage to manhood, and I don't know if if that's what. A person needs but the weight of of what's to come should be shouldn't just be treaded through lightly it's such a strange thing and I think I'm making a too big of a deal of it but there's so many questions that I have that I can't really answer now and no one can answer for me it seems like the a lot of people would go to religion for these questions but I don't I don't see it that way because that's someone else's answer that you'll just accept as your own. And I'm not saying I'm anti-religious, but I'm saying that it's, I have to realize the answers to these questions myself. And I don't think I can do that right now. So I'm just going to have to wait, I guess. But I don't know. Is it just my thinking in this? Do people have these times where they just think and... They see questions, and they don't know if they can answer them right now. Is it is it just me being really tired because I didn't sleep for a day, and exhausted, and just being really screwed up right now? Or is this a thing that occurs to people? Because I really don't know. But it seems strange for the time that I've lived here, it seems I had very little purpose. In the time that is to come, it seems that I will have nothing but purpose. And I guess that's what makes a person. Are their ideals and their purpose. Something to chew on, I guess. I seemingly have a lot of questions, but I just windled it down to three. Three questions that I don't have an answer to right now. And it's, I don't think I should. I think it's too early to ask, to ask these questions, but the questions are, who am I? Where am I? And how do I feel? It's, it's really hard to generalize what's going on right now, but I just somehow feel there should be something more. Like, it's... It's been 17 years, and shouldn't something have been accomplished at this point? I don't know. It's, it's strange. So to answer your question, what does our friends give concrete answers for identities, rather than abstract ones almost exclusively, is, uh, is a really good question. It's a good question. Um, what I think is that there's two parts to this question. First, our friends are retarded. And second, it's a lot easier to fall back into stereotypes 
of defining a country that aren't cruel or racist, but... Or I guess for Nick's case, it was pretty racist, but... The stereotypes... The stereotypes that aren't cruel have some fact to them. And it's a lot easier when someone's got a camera for you and you have, like, two minutes to answer the question to be like, yeah, Canadians hockey and maple syrup, because they're famous for that, rather than going on, on a five-minute rant about how it's the sum of their parts and the relationship between two parts of Canada. So I just think it was the nature of how you asked the question and the timing. Well, that's my opinion of the matter. I'm such a downer today. Tadass! All right, so the question I want to ask you uh, for your Tuesday vlog is, who's more likely to come out of the closet? Superman or Spider-Man? Because we already know Batman's way out there. Poor Robin.